So during this morning session, we are going to be meditating in the four postures. And the four postures are um, an early Buddhist teaching that comes out of a core meditative text called the Satipatthana Sutta. Um, this is a core text in the insight meditation tradition. Um, it's one that's pulled on um, quite a bit. And in it, it covers the, what's called the four foundations of mindfulness. And um, in the first foundation, the mindfulness of the body, um, it is said by the Buddha, again, monks, when walking, they know I am walking. When standing, they know I am standing. When sitting, they know I'm sitting. When lying down, they know I'm lying down. Or they know accordingly, however their body is disposed. So when walking, I know I'm walking. When standing, I know I'm standing. When lying down, sitting, I know I'm sitting. When lying down, I know I'm lying down. However the body is, I know how it is. And the idea here is, um, as the mindfulness of the body instructions develop in that text, first one starts with mindfulness of breathing, and then the next move is to extend mindfulness to all postures and all actions. So the idea is to make mindfulness something that happens all the time. And linking that and rooting that into our physical posture, our body, tying it to the, po to the body. And it's really interesting that this is the first foundation. This is the basics, the basis of everything else that comes. Now we're kind of playing with a little bit of a twist on the mindfulness of the body here on this retreat because we're practicing mindfulness in the body. We're not just working with taking our body as an object and being aware of it and knowing it as if we're standing outside it. We're also working on being in it and inhabiting it and becoming one with our bodies so that there is no separation or distance between our awareness and our physicality. And to do this this morning, to explore this, um, we wanted to kind of take you through all four postures and do a kind of brief meditation, kind of moving through the postures. So we'll start with lying down and do a bit of a body scan. And then we'll move from lying down to sitting. And the transition, the movement between the postures is also part of the meditation. We're going to be noticing what it's like to shift between postures because that's often what we're doing as we go throughout our day. Unless you're like me and sit at your computer chair for like several hours at a time. <laughs> Um, but I actually don't even do that anymore. I have a sit-to-stand desk, and I move between sitting and standing. Um, and I do this too. I practice moving between the postures and noticing what it's like. And then we'll move from lying down to sitting uh, and explore uh, six points of posture in the sitting position. Uh, and then from sitting, we'll stand up, and we'll focus on dropping into the standing position and then Emily will demonstrate and talk a bit about the walking meditation um, and using the kind of basic method of walking back and forth between two points. We are going to be in the formal practice periods here in the hall also focusing on stillness in the posture. So once we shift into a posture, we're going to hold the posture, be in the posture, instead of constantly shifting and constantly moving. Um, because that lets us work with our own impulses and compulsions. Um, because there's a very fine line between noticing the wisdom of the body and what's needed and feeling an impulse arise and reacting and just moving. And that's a big part of what we're exploring here with embodied mindfulness. When are we being pulled around by our conditioning and when are we tuning into some deeper wisdom that's inviting us into a more free state of mind and heart and body. So really the emphasis is on listening to the wisdom of the body. 
what does the body need? So we're going to begin um, in the lying down posture, if that feels comfortable to you. Um, so feel free to find a spot. Um, if, you, if you feel like it, you could just move right in front of your cushion or wherever you feel comfortable. Um, the important thing is to have your neck supported to so something underneath your head. <clears throat> And just notice, like, this is part of it, too. You know, what is it like to start to shift downward, lying down into the earth, into the ground? And some of you are naturally doing it, but sometimes it relieves pressure in your lower back if you, if you raise your knees, or you're welcome to put something underneath your knees. I'm just checking in with your energy. What's the energy like in your body as you as you begin to deepen into this particular posture? I'm just inviting your body and mind to relax. May the body and mind relax. We can't make this happen, but we can incline ever so gently to easing into this experience. So notice what your breathing is like as you lie here. Notice if it's long or short, fast or slow. Noticing where the floor and your skin touch. sinking down into this earth that holds you. And notice where your attention is now. I'm going to invite you to do a little bit of a body scan just to get a little bit more familiar with the territory of your body, where it's easeful to rest attention, where it may become more difficult. So direct your attention now to your feet. Noticing the front of each foot. the back of each foot. Notice your toes. The space between the toes. And see if you can directly contact the sensations that are arising and passing within the feet. And perhaps you can even sense the space in between these sensations. And now gently moving your attention into the lower part of your legs. And 
noticing what it's like for them to lay on the ground, touching the earth. the front and the back, the sensations from within, the space of your lower leg. And now moving attention into your knees, Allowing your attention to gently rest here. Seeing if you can stay in contact with the direct sense. Sensing knees. Moving your attention now into your upper legs. Noticing what it's like to shift into these different areas of the body. Whether it's easeful to rest attention here or whether it's more difficult, attention gets pulled in other directions. Just something to take note of. And now moving attention into your pelvis. Really allowing your sitting bones, your buttocks to sink into the earth here. Grounding. Notice what it's like to breathe. Sensing your pelvis. And now gently resting your attention with your lower belly. The tenderness of this area. How it shifts and moves. Notice if there's any feelings or emotions in your experience. Inviting whatever is happening to be known and felt. Now moving attention to your chest area. Your heart is here. Seeing if you can relax a little bit more, softening a little bit more around your heart. Going right to your edge and softening.
And now moving your attention to your arms. Again, directly contacting, if you can, the sensations within your arms, from the inside out. Moving and changing within the space of each arm. And now into your hands. Noticing the front and the back of each hand. Each finger. the space between each finger. And now allowing attention to rest gently like a butterfly landing on a flower in your throat. Seeing if you can connect to breathing while sensing your throat, your neck. Allowing the weight of your head to really sink into the earth. Your neck to relax. And now, bringing attention into your face. Softening around your eyes. Relaxing your jaw. Relaxing your tongue. And now incorporating the back of your head and the front of your head. Sensing the energy that's moving through your head. With each breath as you move in and out. And now see if you can hold your whole body within your attention. Allowing your whole body to rest here, grounded. Being held by the earth and loving awareness. Lying down is like this. Sensing your body in the space in the room.
And now we're going to set the intention to move slowly into the sitting posture. So notice what it's like as we drop that intention. And in your own way, just begin to gradually shift back into sitting. Seeing if you can stay connected to the sensations and the space of your body. Each movement. Notice how energy changes. Beginning to take your seat in a different form. And your breath is here. As we begin to settle in to sitting. The first point of our sitting posture is our seat. So taking our seat, either sitting on the floor with our legs crossed, kneeling on your cushion, or sitting up in a chair. However you're sitting, just making sure that your sitting bones are in contact with your cushion or chair. feeling a sense of uprightness in the sitting posture. Second point of the posture are our hands. So here our hands could be resting gently on our thighs or it can be in our lap. They're in your lap, you can pull them together, one on top of the other, or you could take what in Zen they call the cosmic mudra, where one is on top of the other and the thumbs are gently touching, making a circle. Finding a place where your hands can feel comfortable, at ease. And the third point of posture here is what we do with our eyes. So here we have a couple options. One is for the eyes to be open with a soft gaze. Looking down at the floor at around a 45 degree angle. Letting the eyes relax. And letting your vision Blur just slightly, not taking in anything in particular, just resting. And 
The other option is for your eyes to be closed. So finding an eye posture that makes sense for you, whether it's open or closed. Seeing which helps you connect with your experience. The fourth point of posture is our balance, how we're balanced in our seat. So it can be helpful sometimes to take a moment to kind of rock a little from side to side on the cushion, just kind of gently rocking, finding that place in the center where you feel balanced, letting the rocking subside there. And feel free here to shift your posture, shift your body slightly, make some micro adjustments as needed to find a stable, balanced posture. It can also balance from the front to back. So you could gently rock a little from front to back, rocking on the sitting bones, using the sitting bones as the point of the leverage rocking back and forth. And then finding that place between the front and the back where you feel balanced, upright, energized. Finding a balance between the left and right, front and back. Letting the body come into alignment with that new balance. And then the fifth point of posture is our alignment. In particular, our alignment with the force of gravity. This downward pull that's always tugging at us, moving us down toward the ground. So you might notice when you feel balanced, it's a little easier to be aligned. And the next part of finding this deeper alignment is to let the sitting bones and the lower back start to sink downward toward the earth without losing your balance. Sinking downward at the same time as the lower part of the body sinks downward, feeling the upper part of the body moving upward, lifting toward the sky, chest opening, shoulder blades dropping, back of the head and neck lengthening, lifting, shifting. Finding that place in your body where you feel aligned, the force of gravity, where you're not working against it and it's not working against you. And again, letting your body shift and make little micro adjustments as needed to find this alignment. See what your body knows. Feel where it wants and needs to move. See if you can give it permission to do that without really knowing exactly where it's going to go. Trusting that the body has a mind of its own. Feeling the sense of alignment vertically from 
top to bottom, lifting, relaxing down, lengthening in the spine. And at the same time, being balanced from the left to right, front to back. Sitting right in the center. Balance between each position, each direction. And this isn't a static center, it's really a dynamic center. Every time the body shifts, the center shifts slightly, and we have to sink into the new center to realign ourselves. So feeling that subtle dynamic movement within the stillness of this posture. The last point of the posture is our attitude, our emotional and mental attitude. And here we're inviting our attitude to reflect the nature of this upright posture. There's an alertness, an energetic quality to sitting upright. There's a kind of dignity to being upright. So tuning into that. At the same time, there is a kind of ease and relaxation in moving downward and sinking down toward the earth and being still. So we're both relaxed, at ease, and alert, upright, inviting both qualities to be present in our body and mind. Relax, alert, relax, alertness. And here we're going to start to shift again to the standing posture. Just notice what arises in your body when I say that. Do you feel a pull, a compulsion? I feel the compulsion to want to stand quickly and get it over with so I can be there. Notice what it's like for you. Notice the intention arise to stand. And then as you feel moved, staying connected to the body, begin to shift and move into the standing position. Taking it slowly if you need to. Seeing how it feels natural to move. We'll start in this posture at our feet and move our way up. So again, just like in the sitting posture, see if you can start to tune into this quality of balance in the feet. And you may want to shift the width between your feet where it feels appropriate, finding that place 
where the feet are the right distance apart, where you can stand upright and yet be relaxed. From there, feeling the soles of the feet, dropping attention down. And notice where is the weight, where is the pressure in the soles of the feet. You can use that sense of weight, the distribution of weight, to help you tune into your balance. So notice, is there more weight or pressure on one foot than the other? If so, see if you can shift slightly so that there's a roughly equal balance, equal weight distribution. Then notice too, are the, there more weight in the front of the feet or the back, the sides, the center? See if you can let your weight shift in such a way where it's distributed through the feet, toes. Again, feel free to let your body move here if it needs to, to find this balance. Feeling the head and the top of the neck lifting toward the sky as your weight sinks down through the body to the knees, down to the feet. Noticing how your arms are placed, not just letting them hang there as dead stumps, but feeling the aliveness of the arms the sensation of the arms. Softening the knees, letting the low back flatten slightly, relax. Feeling the opening it pulses down the legs as we relax the lower back, letting that happen, letting the body shift again as needed. Feeling the shoulder blades coming up and back and down relaxing the shoulders. Letting go of the idea that there's a right way to stand or that it should look a particular way. This is your body no one else's. And from here, we're going to work on letting our attention drop further down into the body and become more distributed through the body. So feeling attention first in the head, tuning to the sensations and the quality of awareness in the head. Noticing thoughts arise and pass in this space. Now we're going to gently invite our attention to begin to sink downward without losing the head, moving down to the neck, 
feeling the body from inside as attention oozes downward. Letting the body move in stillness to dynamically reorganize itself, to align itself with this embodied attention. Moving down to the mid back and the chest, to the tops of the arms. With every out breath, we're sinking just a little further into the body. Go at whatever pace feels right for you. Moving down eventually through the arms, the mid torso, lower belly. Feeling that space of great tenderness, the center of the body and the lower belly. See if you notice tension there, tightness, so you can relax around it. Feel free to let your stomach pooch out a little bit if that's what needs to happen. Noticing the tendency to hold our stomachs in if you have that tendency. Relaxing. Moving down into the pelvis. Feeling a tension distributed all the way through the top half of the body. To the hips. Feeling the hips from inside. Through the legs, the top of the legs. The quads hamstrings, bones, tendons, letting attention sink further down into the knees, all the way down to the lower part of the legs, the front of the legs, the shins, back of the legs, the calves, the bones, the tendons. Noticing what happens as attention sinks and drops and distributes further down into the ankles. Coming back down to the tops of the feet, sinking further down still to the soles, the toes. Letting attention drop all the way down feeling the whole of the body from inside while in the standing posture. So when you're ready, just gently opening your eyes. Throughout the day, we'll be shifting between these postures and also walking. So just take note what it feels like as you stand here. This is the beginning of the walking. This is how we begin to walk. We stand. So there's a couple options if you want to practice walking meditation. Typically on retreats, one of the ways that you can do this so that you maintain a container or a, um, a way to continue to gather your attention is to pick a spot out in front of you. It can be you know, from here to like that, that chair and that chair back. So that would be your walking path. Beginning by dropping into your posture as we are here. And then just noticing what it's like as you start to shift your weight 
to one foot to lifting. You can do it to with lifting. Me. Noticing what that's like to balance. Moving forward, placing, shifting weight. When it feels ready, you pick up the next foot, lifting, moving, placing. One more time, lifting, moving, placing. And then gradually coming back into your standing posture. Realigning, adjusting, allowing your weight to sink. Noticing what it's like to turn around, we're turning around to go back to where we started. Seeing how your body feels in the space as it moves, the balance. Seeing if you can at least maintain 20% of your attention as you move in your body. Again, lifting, moving, placing at your own speed, returning to where you started. And when you arrive, turn back to face the center. And just checking in with the energy in your body and how that felt to go at that speed. Walking meditation does not have to happen at that speed. <laughs> you can adjust it to what your energy, what's happening in your body. Sometimes it's step, 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 step. Turn, turn, turn. Step, 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 step. <laughs> 